Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting and this time I'm going to explain in this weekly how to paint uh, hems, uh, how to paint this gem. So I will do this and I will do also these ones here to explain a little bit how I do the gems and and, and that's all, so that's the start. Uh, I will paint these gems in green as this is the the color that I'm using, the, the, the secondary color I'm using for this guys so uh, but the same process can be followed for any other color take it into account that you uh, you, you follow the same process so first I'm gonna start with a very dark color dark green as you see these ones here they are already painted in dark green the ones in that guy so I will do this one here and you just apply a base color of dark green and I will try to leave the top corner uh, in black so I apply almost in all the miniature and I will leave just a very little on the uh, on all the on all the gem and I will leave a little bit on, on black at the top. So this is the best the first basic color and you let it dry. Okay. So while this is drying I will do the gems in this guy. The next thing I will do is you change from a dark green to one that is lighter and I will use Warstone Glow. So the idea here is we'll do start with that ones. So you paint the bottom part with this color that is lighter. Okay, you emphasize the bottom. We'll do the same here. I will emphasize the bottom of the gem. Okay, and I will do the same here. I will apply this more rounded, so I will just do like that. Okay, I will move the camera to show this better and to be sure that you can see what I did. So what you can see here is that I paint just partially the, the so this is focusing, so you see the top is, the, this side is dark and the bottom is lighter. I do the same in that ones. Okay. So next step that I will do. Sorry for moving the camera like that, but I think it's the best way to show. Is I will use mod green and I will paint the bottom of the gem. So I will paint and then try not to cover the previous colors that we apply. Okay. You need just a little bit of this brighter green. Okay. This is, I will show you the camera if you don't see this clearly. So Right, show you now in camera. Showing now from a different angle how it's looking like. You see, the bottom part is much lighter than the top part of this. This is the wrong one, and these are the other ones that have. You see that I leave. We have to be careful with the bright from the light, but this is how. You do this step. So the next step that I will do, I will apply white, white scar. Sometimes I use the light color, but white is working. My experience is telling me that white is working better to do this effect. So what we are going to do is we are going to make a small dot on the darker part of the gem. And this is, you have to be very careful when you do that. Not, not to make the dot too big, but not, not too small either. Okay, one dot. Another dot on the top, on the bottom one.
okay and on this rounded one right so you see you do a dot on the top it will show no from a different angle so this is how it's looking like after applying white and now the final touch that you can do is to apply um, hair coat this one as a to give a gloss um, finishing on, on the gem okay so this is one of that I did and this is the others that I did on that miniature uh, summarizing and the, the important thing here is you start with black then you, uh, you apply a dark color you apply then the next one green at the bottom this is going to be the main color, should be the one that is predominating then you go to a very light color on the same um, tonality, so mood green in that case and you finalize giving the dot of white on the darkest part okay, this is the way I paint uh, these ones Okay, uh, if you go for different colors, you can follow the same. If you want to do a blue gem, you can follow the same process, or you can go to red. So, for example, here, the one I followed similar process with reds to do these gems. Okay, as you see here, I go for very strong contrast, giving leaving the black on top. Okay, this is a miniature that uh, this is a white dwarf, futuristic white dwarf. Um, for example, in that case, I want for very marine blue. I give the dot. You can see that it's very bright because I applied um, gloss varnish. Okay, in this in uh, in Marcos in this miniature. Then this one I think is the best example. It's a big gem where you can do it. Follow the technique. You see here in blue. Maybe the bright is not helping to show it correctly, but you will see that this is also the the white spot. So this is one side. I think there is no. This is only one side. So this is another example. So you see, I follow always the same process, starting with very dark, go to the lighter color at the bottom, and then you do a white spot, and you finalize in doing the the gloss varnish. I didn't do it in that case because I want to finalize first the miniature, and I just did that to show how to do it. So I hope you find it interesting. Please. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comment below, uh, questions, and if you want to do and you want to see anything on the weekly painting, please just let me know, and I will see what I can do, what is possible to do. Normally, I try to run my weekly painting on on the miniatures that I'm doing, but I will take this into account for future and uh, weekly paintings. I try to do a topic per per week at least, and uh, plus all the tutorials that I normally do as normal basis. Uh, so if you have anything that you want to be covered, just let me know and I will try to do my best to cover it in, in the following weeks. So thanks a lot for watching this video and see you again later. Bye!